Hamburg has an ambitious goal. Germany's second largest city wants to reduce emissions by 40% by 2020. And politicians and industry are working hand in hand to make good on that promise. In 2011, the European Union gave Hamburg the Green Capital Award for the city's innovative ideas on how to tackle pollution. Mobility and public transport play an important role, as does the production and use of green hydrogen. Big cities are expanding, Hamburg is expanding. And this is the reason why we have to deal with the questions of air pollution and traffic. Hydrogen is a technology that can solve the problems, and for this reason we are working very hard on developing the technology together with car manufacturers and bus manufacturers. We have a big number and infrastructure of filling stations. We produce hydrogen in the city with renewable energies and altogether this is a good infrastructure for car manufacturers to have good practice experience with their hydrogen cars. The company High Solutions is a subsidy of Hamburg's transportation agency Hochbahn and was founded back in 2005 with the goal of promoting hydrogen and fuel cell technology in Hamburg. Mission accomplished. High Solutions now coordinates projects with various partners on the subject. The goal 20 years down the line would really be to have a systematic approach to connect the energy sector and the hydrogen sector, especially in using hydrogen as a means of uh, energy supply in the transport. So we have a very strong support from the political side of the city um, because there is the benefit of bringing together energy and uh, hydrogen as a means of storage. And then of course we have a big support from industry. They're using the vehicles, like fuel cell buses we have here in the public transport, and they're also using a variety of other applications, like, uh, for example, in stationary or in the maritime sector. Hamburg has one neat advantage, the wind. There are 60 wind turbines in and near the city that produce 55 megawatts, enough to power over 60,000 homes. On top of that, there are another few hundred megawatts installed just off Hamburg's shores. Much of the access energy is stored in the form of hydrogen. So-called power-to-gas plants use it for electrolysis, so for splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is simply let into the air, while hydrogen is stored and, for instance, used to power fuel cell vehicles, such as Hamburg's six fuel cell buses. There are a total of four hydrogen filling stations in Hamburg. Vattenfall station in the heart of the Hafen city definitely has one of the best views. And the utility pays special attention to the sustainability of fuel production, as the station is a small power-to-gas plant located in the heart of Hamburg. Yes, at this station we produce hydrogen on-site, meaning we're using electrolysis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen and then we use hydrogen to fuel buses and cars. For this process, we need electricity. We take green electricity from uh, offshore wind farms, from photovoltaics or, or whatever, to produce uh, emission-free fuel for the transportation sector. About half of the hydrogen fuel used is produced right here. Additional fuel needed to keep the city moving is delivered, but still made with locally produced green energy. In early 2015, Shell also opened a hydrogen station in Hamburg. Here too, hydrogen is produced on site, and the filling station is financed in part by the German Ministry of Transport. In a world that produces a large amount of intermittent renewable electricity, hydrogen is an ideal storage medium for this energy. It can be used directly to fuel small and medium-sized fuel cell vehicle. And last but not least, it will allow zero emission transportation. In Hamburg, clean energy and clean mobility are a top priority. And as local government, organizations and industry are paving the way to a new and cleaner future, this windy city is the ideal place for innovation to hit the road.